Well, one of the most sought after tickets at the Palm Springs International Film Festival is the Variety 10 Directors to Watch and Impact Awards Luncheon. That's usually held the day after the gala. The pandemic has moved the typically exclusive Variety event online and now the public can attend for the first time. Patrick Evans sat down with the man responsible for those awards to see how they are moving forward. On a blustery Palm Springs day, Stephen Gatos sits by his pool and reflects on the past glories of the Variety Luncheon in Palm Springs, where luminaries from the A-list of Hollywood would arrive to accept those honors and see their peers do the same. I'm already getting extremely nostalgic for the palm trees at the Parker and having, you know, great stars like Gal Gadot and uh, Jake Gyllenhaal and Will Smith out one year. This year, not so much. The pandemic forced cancellation of the film festival's red carpet gala and the popular variety luncheon will become an online event. Far from exclusive, everyone is invited. Gotta go to school, you gotta get good grades to even have a chance. Glenn Close will be honored for her work they in Hillbilly exactly Elegy. She's another on. incredible performance in Hillbilly Elegy um, and just a, you know, incredible actress. Everybody wants to see her standing there with an Oscar, and they've wanted that for about 20, 30 years. I agree with you 100%. I think we need to look each other in the eye, man to man. And director Steve McQueen will be honored for his amazing body of work, including 12 Years a Slave and Small Acts. Probably if he had taken the Mangrove movie out of this series and put it into theatrical, it would be uh, at the forefront of the Oscar race. The 10 directors to watch this year include some well-known names as well as up-and-comers. Regina King, Academy Award and Golden Globe Award winner, takes the reins of the film called One Night in Miami. And House of Cards actor Robin Wright helms the film Land in her first feature film. Robin Wright was an actress everybody knew. She did some directing in TV. This is her feature debut. And she's just made an extraordinary movie in Land. It is life affirming, it is uplifting, it is beautifully made. Gato says that while the pandemic has created challenges for award ceremonies like this one, it has also had a positive effect that's actually good for the industry. People are seeing the art, they're accessing the films. So the accessibility of these movies that have been the domain of film festivals and buffs and specialty film houses. Um, there's a wider audience, which is fantastic for filmmakers to have their art seen. Now here is the list of all 10 directors being honored this year. To stream the event, you can find the link on our website, kesq.com. Patrick, incredible job on this story. Is there a particular director you're rooting for? Uh, actually, you know, even though she's been around for a while, like Robin Wright, and I got to see mm. a little bit of that film, Land, mm. it looks spectacular. I've yeah, always admired so her as an actress, but uh, her first turn at the feature film directing, uh, her debut film is really uh, an yeah, excellent love piece. To see it. Very cool. And, and Mr. Geddes was great to sit down with it. He's become a uh, permanent resident of Palm Springs during oh, the pandemic. Yay. So. Welcome. Neat. <laughs> Running variety from right Welcome. here. Outside.